Guys, I now know exactly why Florida always has the cheapest rates. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, Eddie V. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit the like button and share this video. Let's get let's cut right to the chase, guys. Florida always had the cheapest freight rates for truckers. Doesn't matter if you're dry van, step deck, flatbed, or reefer. And I, you guys are probably wondering why reefer. I'll get that too in a minute. The only thing that probably doesn't matter is if you're in the fuel hauling industry, that is totally different pay grade and totally different jobs in every state. It's Yes, each state pays different on if you're doing propane or hauling diesel or gas or whatever you're hauling in the fuel industry. It's a totally different market. And right now, it is booming in almost every state. If it's not booming, guys, comments in the comments below. Truckers, if you're doing fuel industry, let me know. Is it paying well or not? Company drivers, owner operator, doesn't matter. Just comment down below and let me know. Anyway, guys, so Florida always has the cheapest rates. And a lot of stuff of fresh fruit comes from Florida and that's where reefers come in and out. Now you guys might be wondering why in the world is that reefer freight cheap? It's because the rest of the other freight is cheap because if you're hauling a reefer, you can haul everything a drive in hauls. And because of the cheap freight of step deck, flatbed and drive in, reefer freight is being affected as well because brokers see that the market is on the lower side of Florida, so they also charge reefer side uh, lower. Now, if you have customer contracts, you have relations with broker or customers or shippers, and you're making bank out of uh, out of Florida, coming out of Florida, let me know in the comments below, and that's good for you. Uh, let me know how you're doing, reefers. Also, guys, if you're a step deck flight better driving, uh, comment how you're doing and let me know. All I know, guys, is when I go into Florida, I'm a company driver, get 30% of the load, so the higher the load pays, the more I get per mile. So whenever I go into Florida, it pays three and a half dollars a mile, so then four dollars a mile when I come out, I'll see maybe two dollars a mile. Often what our company does, and every single company I've been to, what they do is they when they go into Florida, they come out and go into the border of Georgia, even Savannah, or just right crossing the border, and then pick up a very nice load. Now I'm going to explain why is it cheap. Now, we go into Florida, a whole bunch of stuff goes into Florida, but nothing coming out. You know why? There is no uh, plants. There is no infrastructure. There's like no manufacturing. Guys, when you go to Florida, what's the number one thing you see? You see people on vacation. You see vacation things. You see vacation signs. You see tourist attractions. You do not see any manufacturing, any plants. Maybe there's one or two. And I doubt it's where the vacation places are. When you go into Florida, guys, you don't see a single manufacturing plant on the way to your vacation place. That's because Florida does not have anything, pretty much anything. If they do, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Hardly anybody goes to that part of Florida. And I haven't seen steel manufacturing. I haven't seen so many manufacturers. So that's why the freight is cheap. When you go there, it's for vacation. The only thing you're gonna bring out of Florida is, well, if your livestock caller, cattle, basically, and it's not that much compared to other states. Uh, cars, if you're going to a port, and reefer loads. That's the only three things. Now, there's a fourth thing. If they're doing like a equipment transfer, which is rare and they don't pay good as uh, much as well. So that's why the freight rate is cheap. There's like nothing coming out of Florida because there's no manufacturing, no, no plants, no nothing being made. That is exactly why. So the only, your best bet is have a Twig card and find something out of a port that pays well, like a container or a car. That's the only thing that's gonna pay well coming out of Florida. The rest of the stuff doesn't. So plan to either pick up something from a, a uh, port or across the border into Georgia, and that's how you're gonna get out of Florida, getting paid more uh, than taking some cheap load. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2000. 
drive and attempt on the sex series.